today's home exercise tutorial, we are going to go over a progression of activities that anyone can do to improve their balance. So the first thing that's really important is learning how to shift your weight from side to side. You really need to be able to, to get a good weight shift, you really have to feel confident on each leg. So in this first progression, we're just going to do what I call heel lifts. So you're basically just shifting all of your weight onto one leg and just lifting the opposite heel. Really beginning to learn how to stand on just one leg. So this next progression, you're going to stagger your feet and shift the weight to the front foot and lift the back leg and shift it to the back leg and lift the front foot. So you're basically, again, just learning how to feel comfortable standing on one leg. Notice both feet are still staying on the ground. So in these early progressions, you really want to make sure that you're still keeping both feet on the ground until you get really comfortable and feel confident with all your weight on one leg while still having that other leg on the ground to give you a little bit of stability. And that's the forward backward weight shift. In this, ne in this next progression, you can take a yoga block. You can buy one for about $5 on Amazon. They're a great tool to have for a lot of different things. This is just one way that you could use a yoga block. So we're going to start with the yoga block with the widest part on the ground. So you can see it's the widest part of the yoga block is on the ground. And so now you're just going to shift your weight to one side and put the other foot on the block and down. If you feel like you're putting it up and you're falling back down, then that means you need to shift your weight just a little bit more onto that one leg or you need to go back to the previous progression and get a little bit more comfortable standing on one leg. Okay, so you want to, you can start with that heel lift again and once you feel like you have good control on this leg, step that foot up and down. Same thing, shift, feel comfortable on this leg and then step that foot up and down. Now to progress from there, the next step that you can do is to flip the yoga block. So now the skinny part is on the ground. So it makes it a little bit more unstable and you have to have a little bit more control on that leg. If you get it up there and the yoga block's tipping over, then you're not ready for that progression. Go back to having the yoga block with the wide part on the ground. In this next progression, so you should be able to control it up. You shouldn't feel like the yoga block is wobbling at all because all your weight should really be on this leg and you're just gently tapping this foot on here and down. Again, you don't want it tipping. You don't want it to feel like it's shaking. All my weight is really on this leg. And down. And now in this next progression, we've turned the yoga block again. So now the very smallest side of the yoga block is on the ground. It makes it much taller and a little bit more unstable. And, it, and you do have to lift your leg up a little higher. So again, if you're getting your foot up there and it's falling back down, then you need to go back to the previous progression where either the fattest part of the yoga block is on the ground or the longer part is so you don't have to lift your leg up so high. So in this progression, this is the most difficult. You're going to set that foot up there. Again, making sure that it's not tipping and that you're not falling back onto that leg. And then you switch and do the same thing on the other side. And back down. Back to the other side. And back down. So the other thing that's really important is that you 
can step your feet in a straight line. This is important for walking in narrow areas or if you have to turn, your feet are somewhat in a straight line. So getting comfortable with your feet in a straight line is a really important skill. So we're just going to practice that. So pretty easy. You're just getting comfortable standing with your feet in a straight line. If that's too difficult or you feel like you can't maintain your balance, start with your feet slightly staggered. Okay? And then go ahead and switch. The other foot slightly in front. You should be able to hold that for at least 30 seconds without losing your balance before you attempt to stand with your feet in a straight line. So you should get really comfortable with your feet staggered. So you can see my the heel of this foot is pretty close to the big toe on the other foot. So they're pretty narrow. And again, you should be able to hold that for about 30 seconds without losing your balance before you go on to the next progression, which would be to stand with your feet in a straight line. And again, a good goal for what we call tandem standing would be maybe to hold it for about 30 seconds without losing your balance. For safety reasons, it's okay to start holding onto a wall just to make sure that you can maintain your balance and that you're going to be safe when you do it and then just take your hand off the wall. And again, you want to try each side for about 30 seconds. Now another pretty important skill for walking is being able to cross your legs and actually have this foot on the other side of this foot. And again, that's for turning. There's a lot of times where you might end up with your feet crossed and I've noticed with patients that sometimes they get a little disoriented or they kind of don't know what to do with their body if their feet end up in this position. So that makes it them a huge fall risk. So we're going to work on that. So once you get good at here, and you can get your feet in a straight line, you're going to step it across and back. You're going to step it across and back. And again, to start out, you can hold on to a wall or hold on to something and step it across. And then once you feel comfortable, you can let go and try and do that. Again, you don't want to be you want to, if you need to do it in front of a mirror, go ahead and do it in front of a mirror. You shouldn't feel like your shoulders are swaying and you're really struggling to keep your balance. Try and keep everything tight. Try and keep your shoulders square. And it's just a little tiny rotation at the hips, but not much. You can still see my hips are pretty square to the front. Across and back. And then go to the other side, same thing. Step it across and back. See my shoulders are still square. My hips are square to the front, and I'm just stepping it across and back. Across and back. Step it across and step it back. And then once you get good at that, I kind of call this like a plie or a curtsy, but now we're going to work on stepping it behind and back. So you soften this knee a little bit that you're standing on and you just step it behind and step it back. Again, nothing wrong with holding on to something or having your hand against a wall to get comfortable doing this for safety and back. All right, and then same thing on the other side, step it behind and back. Step it behind and back. Behind and back. Now for this next exercise I call this the clock. So if you were standing in the center of a big clock and this being 12 o'clock in front of you and 6 o'clock behind you, you're basically just going to tap your toe 
on every number of that clock. Okay, so this would be 12 o'clock, so all my weights on this leg, and then you're going to go to 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and then 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock, and back to 12 o'clock. On the other side, you're going to go 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. So that is the clock exercise. So I hope you found that helpful and I hope you guys are excited to start practicing that and improving your balance. Now again, these exercises that we just went over today, these are just strictly for working on weight shifting. Uh, I'll be doing a part two that's going to work a little bit more on turn steps and preparing for that and um, what to do on uneven surfaces. So how to kind of improve your balance to improve your ability on different terrain, outdoor terrain, things like that. So I look forward to showing you part two. <music>